Hey everyone, James Yang here. Today we're tackling a critical topic for startups and inventors. How to secure foreign patent protection without breaking the bank. International patents can be very expensive, but with the right strategies, you can manage these costs. Let's dive in. When should you start planning for foreign patent protection? Ideally, right from the beginning when you file your initial patent application. Your U.S. patent strategy needs to be adjusted if you are considering international protection. Early preparation is crucial because one year from the filing date, you must either submit a PCT application or file directly in each country where you want protection, which can be very expensive. Foreign patent protection isn't cheap. Each application in a different country can cost a few thousand dollars and rejections can drive costs even higher, sometimes over tens of thousands of dollars due to the additional arguments and responses needed. And remember, there's no single global patent that covers every country. For example, protecting your invention in China and Europe requires separate filings with the China National Intellectual Property Administration and the European Patent Office. All of this will increase the total cost. However, there is a way to delay these costs through a PCT or Patent Cooperation Treaty application. The PCT application can be filed in lieu of filing in each individual country within the one year time frame. The PCT application doesn't grant you a patent, but it buys you more time, up to 30 months from the earliest filing date to decide which countries you want to pursue. Without a PCT application, you'd have only 12 months to file in foreign countries, accelerating your expenses. During this 30-month period, focus on building business relationships in the countries where you might want protection. If you find strong partnerships, you may want to seek patents there. If not, you should save your money by skipping those countries. Deciding where to file depends on your customer base and business goals. Generally, protect your invention in countries where your customers are. For instance, if you've created a surfing product, you might focus on countries with a coastal surfing community rather than landlocked or snowy regions. Also, think about how feasible it will be to enforce your patent. China, for example, is a major market and manufacturing hub, but enforcement can be challenging. Weigh these factors carefully to determine whether the investment is worthwhile. Now. How do you minimize costs? The biggest expense often comes from negotiating with foreign patent examiners. To cut down on these costs, first secure allowed claims in the United States, then introduce these allowed claims in foreign countries under the Patent Prosecution Highway Program. To make this strategy work, you should expedite your U.S. patent application. This way, you can secure allowed claims quickly and use them in other countries under the Patent Prosecution Highway Program. The PPH allows patent offices in other countries to give you an allowance based on the examination conducted by the U.S. Patent Office, saving you tens of thousands of dollars. Foreign patent protection isn't one size fits all. Your strategy should align with your business needs, budget, and marketing opportunities. If you need help, give me a call. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tips on navigating the patent landscape. Thanks for watching and see you next time.